Hi, my name is Janet Donlin. I'm a museum technician for the National Park Service. Um, I work specifically for the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Collection, which is housed here in the Museum Resource Center. The building overall is a central curatorial facility for the National Capital Region Parks, um, but our collection specifically is housed entirely in this building. Um, we are a collection of objects that are left at a memorial in DC, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. Uh, visitors come by the memorial every day, leave objects at the memorial, which our park rangers collect. Um, and then every two weeks or so, we do a pickup at the, at the memorial. We bring them out here to our museum resource center, where we sort through them and um, catalog them and make them part of our collection. So this card was left in 2000. Um, it was left by Ellen for Barry, Barry Bausch, who was killed in Vietnam. Um, I'm just going to read it. It says, My dearest Barry, it's been over 31 years since you were taken away from me, but you remain in my heart, my truest love always. As I visit the memorial wall today in Washington, D.C., I leave with you the ring I gave you on your 18th birthday, the first summer we met. Always know that I love you still, although I'm married and have three beautiful children, Laura, named after your sister, Blake, and Raina. I will mourn for the family we were never given the chance to have. When the Lord takes me home, I know I'll meet you again and share many memories. The collection, I feel like the purpose of the collection is to help people, well, the purpose of the wall is to help people heal, um, to get over their, um, the things that happened to them in the past and to remember, uh, specifically the men who died in Vietnam. And this collection kind of lends uh, a helping hand to that. People will leave things um, that are kind of folk art that will it, it just make the process of making a craft helps them heal. Um, there's a lot of things in the collection that have to do with PTSD. Um, so we have a lot of PTSD groups that go to, they do a therapy group and they make something and they leave it at the wall. So that's helping their healing process. Um, and then we have a lot of things that give in uh, just a little bit inf more information about a specific soldier's life. Um, so when you go to the wall, you see all the names in the wall, but, but the collection kind of gives a little background history to those names. Um, as long as somebody has left something for a specific person, we can tell just like, just a little bit more about that person's life. So that's really, I think, the purpose of the collection. <coughs>